good morning everybody all right well we're leaving Lake Pueblo State Park today and we're heading to a place it's called Thompson's Grove campground and it's a free campground in Dalhart Texas so we're gonna stop there and we're gonna do, be doing some boondocking for the, for the night tonight so that should be really cool it's free free overnight parking so uh, let's head out there and see what this place is like what do you say yay <laughs> free is always good and one last look at our beautiful campground that we had last night this lake is really really quite big yeah it's that's why they have an, a marina yeah so it was a really nice place to stay for the night it was really beautiful weather yesterday and we had a really good time and it was so quiet last night oh yeah yeah it was really quiet so bonus but we're on our way again welcome to chasing landscapes we're jack and mary and we're full-time RVers, traveling the country and exploring new places. I'm an artist, and we're always looking to capture our adventures on canvas. So come along with us as we go chasing some landscapes. So we're trying to get to the Dallas area as soon as possible, which means that we're moving through Texas like a rock skipping across a pond. That's right, all gas and no brakes, baby. So let's hit it. First stop, Thompson's Grove. into New Mexico beautiful New Mexico we actually are just going to go through the the corner of New Mexico we shouldn't be here very long it's a three state day <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. This is it. The campground. Nothing over there. The wind finally calmed down a little bit. Nobody around. Nothing over there. I don't know what this little thing is for. I don't know what that is. But nothing over there. And nothing over there. And here we sit. I don't think anybody else even came down this road here. Mm. No. Nope. There is a house over there. So if the Texas Chainsaw Massacre happens again, we can run over there. <laughs> oh, but otherwise, we're on our own out here. <laughs> Okay. Hi. Here we are. Yay. Dalhart, Texas. Not a whole lot going on in Dalhart. <laughs> nope. Unless you're a moth. If you're a moth, there's a yeah. lot going on. I had to, oh, here he is again. I had to let him out. He's been in our 
bathroom for about two days now. <laughs> he wants back in. <laughs> so, uh, we're here at this peaceful campground, just Jackie and I. Can you hear the sound? And the moth. Can you just hear oh the Oh my silence? gosh. Dudes. Serious. Okay. So, we're on our way, I think, towards uh, Fort Worth tomorrow. And so... Oh my gosh. Aren't you supposed to fly towards light or something? Serious. Uh, we're on our way towards Fort Worth. We're going to the Dallas area and for a special project. Yeah. So, um, and then we're going to spend probably about a week there. And then we'll be on our way back to California. So that's what we're doing right now. Enjoying this beautiful sunset out here by ourselves. Peace out. Peace out. All right. Good morning, everybody. Well, this is what it's like during the daytime here at Thompson's Grove Campground. Which is basically a BLM. It's, yeah, but it's got, it's got picnic tables and it's got uh, grills out there. You can stay here for 14 nights for free. Yeah, it's pretty awesome out here. Part of me wonders why they put it so far out in the country but it was a peaceful night last night it was absolutely gorgeous out here the sunrise this morning was really nice and so today we're going to go to Amarillo Texas and stay the night at a campground there okay we just left Thompson Grove campground And this is what it's like <laughs> outside of where we were staying. There was one motorcycle that came in last night and he pitched a tent and was gone this morning. So the only things he asked was, what's the deal with this campground? Did he say that? Yeah, he said, is it, you know, do I have to pay for this or no. and we explained that it was he could stay five nights uh, 14 nights 14 nights for free so he just needed a place to stay for the night and then he was on his way in the morning just like we did just like us so this is it for until we get back to the highway <laughs> If you're ever on 1879, Route 1879, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> and a whole lot of it. Miles and miles of it.
we couldn't unhitch the truck from the RV without being able to lower the that the landing gear. So that was the issue. And they kept braking continuously. So unless we wanted to pull the RV over to a local auto parts store to get the parts that we needed, we decided to just walk. So that's what we did. We walked to a local auto parts store and were able to fix it temporarily. So the problem that we were having is this little bolt here keeps it breaking off and it won't turn this bar here. So this is what the last screw looked like. And look at that thing. I mean, come on. I don't know what's happening, but uh, this is a problem. So now we're on our way to Childress, Texas. We're gonna stay at a little city park there that goes for $15 a night for electric and water, I believe. So it's gonna take us a couple of hours to get there, but uh, it's a lovely morning here and we're on our way. So Childress, is around the Dallas Fort Worth area. I think it's maybe closer to Fort Worth. Yeah. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go to a city park there. But what are we gonna do afterward when we get there? At Fort Worth. Oh. We're going to see the cattle drive yeah. in, through the town. It happens every day. Every day, yeah. I think a couple times a day, doesn't Possibly. it? Possibly. But that's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, the Texas Longhorn steers. They march them down Main Street. Yep. It's like a cobblestone street, I think. But I've seen it. I've seen it a bunch of times with other people that have videoed it. But I know, I know that we we went we knew about it, but we thought it was in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, we were and we were in Lubbock, Texas. I'm like we're searching all over. Where does this happen? And uh, fortunately, somebody was there and said, "Oh no, 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 that's in uh, that's that's in Fort Worth. Worth." So we're going through another city apparently because now we're down to 55. <laughs> So yeah, that should be really cool. Plus they've got a, a bunch of cool restaurants and shops and stuff like that there, which looks really interesting yeah. too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Breweries. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Get me a flight of beer. It'll be interesting. I, I really look forward to seeing those steer running down the street. Well, they don't really run. They're yeah. so big. They kind of lumber down the street. So I really wanted to go see this vintage RV museum yesterday, but like I said, we had a little snafu. We had to take care of hiccups. We couldn't go anywhere without taking care of that kind of, that stuff first. So we took care of it and are able to get, be on our way again today. So, But luckily we got to Amarillo early enough to be able to realize the, the issue and take care of it before it, you know, if we rolled in there at four o'clock in the evening, oh, yeah. it wouldn't have been a good thing. No, no that would have been. We probably would have just stayed hooked up yeah. to the truck but there is other stuff that we wanted to do like that museum you know, but we it, it closed at like three o'clock and we were we just got back by 2 30 or something like that so it wasn't it, we weren't able to do that but maybe sometime when we're in Amarillo again we're gonna look that place up and I'm sure we'll go through Amarillo again yeah 
places like that that make these little towns, you know, interesting because that's a that's a cool thing to be able to go and see. Yeah, you know you're in Texas when you see pecans for sale. And you know you know you're in South Carolina when you see boiled peanuts. <laughs> You know you're in Louisiana when you hear about poor boys. Yeah, I love to do that because I'm and I love food from different places. I look forward to oh we're gonna be here. Let's go, you know, let's go find this type of food. Fifty-five. And what I do on these things is I drive by uh, my thumb and I use my cruise control and I just keep it at whatever speed limit these guys are, are asking for it at any given time. Just some bonuses for going through small towns. Look for the treasures. Yeah. Sometimes you find some neat shops along the way. Yeah. So now we're back up at 75 or 65 for me. I like to look through antique stores and a lot of these little towns have at least one antique store yep. if you're, you're taking your time and you're not in a hurry that is to get somewhere today since this is a city park I believe it's gonna be a first-come first-served basis and it's Friday we are going to chance it and try to get, get there, there as early as we can we're gonna get there at 11:30 and see if we can get, find a spot for $15. I think that's a really great deal. Yeah, and yeah. the last spot like this that we went to only had space for like five or six people, and uh, but it was out in the boonies. Paw prints. I wonder where they go. Stop here, so it's the Childress Bobcats. The park is right next to it, it looks like. Fair Park. Go and see if we can find a space to park this big lug. Alright, that's what it is. Three day limit per visit. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Alright, let's get parked. Look at this pretty lake and park next door. Okay, so we're all set up here at Childress Lake Park Fair Ground. This is our space. It's got 30 and 50 amp, you guys. So just to let you know, there's five spaces here. They're covered picnic benches and they have water too water hookup and electric hookup excellent and it's so pretty out here it's nice and clean the park is really clean the lake is really pretty we're gonna go walking over by the lake so we discovered something here <laughs> what did we discover we discovered that we're too far away from Fort Worth yeah. to make a day trip from here. That's tomorrow. So we're going to go to a place called Benbrook Lake tomorrow and then and we'll camp the and then we'll go drive. over to the Fort Worth cattle drive. That's okay because this is a really pretty place. Look at this can sit on a nice bench and overlook the in the shade 
Yes. Man. Who'd have thunk it? Let's put this picnic bench in the shade. This is absolutely gorgeous out here. Yeah, nice walk around the lake first. Yeah. And we were worried that we were going to have to fight for this parking spot. But there's nobody here. Well, it's early. Yay. Uh, so that was a good move. But we got our space. We're the only ones here. And we got a beautiful place to park. By a lake. By a lake. This is awesome. I wonder if you can fish in here. I didn't see any signs. No fishing yet. I see a little fishing lure right there. Or a bobber. So this is awesome. That's a nice bridge to walk across. Uh-huh. And that park area. You can go there for a picnic. 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 Hey, boo-boo. And my picnic about that. <laughs> So I'm glad we landed here early and without any hiccups, at least for now. All's good. All's good. There's a turtle sitting on that log. Turtles are plentiful in Texas lakes. This one's shy. There's another one out there in the water. I think there's a couple of them. We should have some food. We were at one campground in Baybrook. I think that was the name of the city. Yeah. And they had in the campground, they had a little lake and they had a couple little gators in there and turtles and you could feed them. And the turtles would co all come swimming around. This thing so cool. I just heard something go under the water. Oh, there's some ducks over there. Being pretty vocal. Jackie taking pictures. They spotted us. They're like, maybe they have food. Yeah. A couple of babies. See those turtles? Yep, they're just hovering around, floating around. Floating around, floating around. Floating around. Can I have a little breakfast before we go? Sausage and eggs. A lovely morning here in Childress, Texas. We have 
had a really fantastic time at the Childress Fair Lake Campground. The lake was really pretty and we had a lot of fun. So we're on our way over to Benbrook Lake. Good evening, everybody. We made it to Benbrook Lake. Here it is. We didn't get the lakefront parking, but I think this is good enough. It's Saturday night, so these people will probably... Well, this guy left, I think, already. And that's like a little dock area down over there. So, you can um, put your boat out there and uh, a boat ramp, should I say. But there's a, like a little dock that you can s walk out on over there. But it's pretty nice out here. It's a beautiful day again. Nobody around. Well few people around but we're all right it's pretty quiet here these guys just came back from hanging out down by the water we're trying to get this fire started so we can have a barbecue we have some barbecue and we have some fire starters in that bay there I'm gonna have to find them but uh what do you think, Jackie? I think it's good. I think we're getting there. We got we a couple. We haven't done camping like this in a long time. <laughs> We've been resorting. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so this is a new experience for us. I mean, it's not new completely, but it's we haven't uh, we haven't done it for a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Before the six months there in Cody, we had like six months in Palm Springs. So it, we had like a resort type atmosphere there. Not so much in Cody because we couldn't do much w doing the work camping thing. But, um, you know, that had, we had our, our stuff paid for and um, the site paid for anyways. And we were in a great location. And we were in a really great location. We could go anywhere from Cody, so. But this is nice. This is getting the camping stuff going again. So camping vibes. Pa camping vibes. It's peaceful out here. It's not windy at all. It's just beautiful. So let's get this fire started. Oh, I think it's starting to go there. And let's get some dinner in our bellies. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're heading to Fort Worth, Texas to go see the cattle drive in the center of the town, right out in front of the uh, Livestock Exchange building. So we're gonna go into town and, and check that out today. We really wanted to do that before, but we got the wrong place. <laughs> so today, that's what we're gonna do. Are you excited? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been looking forward to this for ever since we went to the wrong place in <laughs> Lubbock. We were actually there in in Lubbock, te Texas, seeing the Buddy Holly Museum, and that was pretty cool. And somebody that was also visiting the museum uh, told us that we were in the wrong place. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm stoked to go and see the cattle drive 
and Jackie's stoked to go see the cattle drive. And there looks like there's something going on over there. Yeah, it looks like there's something Take going on there. Ooh. Maybe we'll hit that on the way back. But that's what we're going to do today. And so come on with us. Maybe we'll find a brewery here or something too to have some lunch. Maybe, that sounds good. Yeah. We're back to Whataburger. The state of Whataburger and Bucky's. Yes. <laughs> and HEB stores. I love HEB. Right. We gotta hit a Whataburger before we leave this place too. Some cool murals on the sides of these buildings were another cool mural. Just a place. Ah, look at that. That's cool. Finchers White Front. Couple of wagons, stage coaches. That looks like a wagon. Pretty looking cool. And there's this livestock exchange. Alright, this is where they keep the steers or the cattle drive. See how long the horns they got. Find the steers. Oh, look at them. <laughs> look at how, how big those horns are. Imagine how heavy those things are. I didn't know that they were that big. They're pretty colorful though. Amazing. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. He says, can I just put so my head down cash somewhere? Cash only, <laughs> Watch out being on that fence Okay. Some big boys. Two thousand pounds. You could take a pony ride too. Hundred pounds or less. That's a good idea. You can play some cornhole while you're sitting here waiting. Are you ready for the cattle drive? I am now. <laughs> I got me a vodka and soda. I'm ready. Found us a spot in the shade. For let the Festivities begin. That's what it is. Ranch Chivo's spirits. Pretty Surpri good. Surprised we didn't go with the gin fizz.
car. <laughs> Good job. Hey. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh. Kevin Midkiff. All right, Kevin, you're going to be on a YouTube channel. <laughs> so, this is the inside of a brewery. You can sit inside of here and have food, drink, and listen to music. On the back of the pickup truck. That's pretty cool. While you have fans blowing cool water on you. Look at you can get an espresso martini. An old chocolate old fashioned. You can sit inside of here, or you can go outside. And... Yeah, upstairs too. They got upstairs too? Yeah. This is the second rodeo brewing. All right, and then look at this. I don't know if this is recording then, but people carved their name in these poor cactus. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the end of another fine trip. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us, and I hope you join us again soon. Thank you for coming. Do you have a question, comment, or suggestion? Please let us know. We like talking to you. We'd sure appreciate you liking and subscribing to our channel. Be sure to hit the notification bell, and please share, share, share with your friends.